We will take a uh, our rocket. It's about 70 feet long, weighs about 60,000 pounds. We mount it underneath the wing of a 747 airplane. We can take off. We climb up to uh, 30, 35,000 feet and go out to sea. Uh, the, the pilot then pulls up so that the rocket is in a, a, a appropriate uh, direction and drops it. Release, release, release. Release, clean release, clean release. The rocket senses that and automatically uh, ignites its engine a few seconds later when it's safely away from the airplane. Um, and the, the first stage will burn, second stage will separate from the first stage, it will burn, take it to orbit, um, go around the world and typically do a final burn and release a payload. Spaceflight is becoming an increasingly commercial activity, with companies such as Elon Musk's SpaceX now launching rockets and crews to the International Space Station. The easy stuff we've done before, like launching satellites or launching people to the International Space Station, we've done that. We know we can do that. But putting a space base on the moon or maybe even going further onto Mars, that's something that's a little bit harder and it leaves NASA and ESA to focus on those things. Virgin Orbit is a spin-off from Sir Richard Branson's space tourism company, Virgin Galactic. While Galactic is concerned with taking paying passengers to the edge of space for a zero-g day trip, Orbit's job is to air launch mini satellites into space. Orbit has been around since 2017 and is now a separate operation from Galactic. It's ramping up the testing of its aircraft, an old converted Virgin Atlantic 747 dubbed Cosmic Girl and Launcher One, the rocket which does the actual satellite delivering. The theory using an aircraft to give a rocket a lift part of the way to space is sound. So far, Orbit has extensively tested their aircraft and they've tested dropping a rocket from the aircraft's wing, but they're yet to successfully perform an air launch. On May the 25th, 2020, Virgin Orbit attempted that first full air-launched test flight. Cosmic Girl took off from the Mojave Air and Spaceport in California, with Launcher 1 fueled up and loaded under her wing. She then headed out over the Pacific Ocean. Everything was going very well. It was, it was almost a boring flight. The pilot pulled up her plan and hit the drop target right on the nose. The plane dropped the rocket as planned, but a fault occurred. We had an issue happen that caused the main engine to, to basically shut off. The team here have said that they knew that there was perhaps a 50-50 chance that this test would work. But as the world reels from COVID-19, the pandemic has had a devastating effect on a host of industries, including airlines. Sir Richard Branson had begun talks requesting a commercial loan from the UK's government. Have the Virgin Group's wider woes affected its ambitions for space? The emails, texts and phone calls I've had with uh, uh, Richard over the last 24 hours uh, have been primarily focused on uh, when do we think we will know, what data do we have and when, when can we have the, the rocket that's sitting behind me ready for, for flight. And so the team is preparing for another launch attempt in a not-too-distant future.